In today's video, I'm going to be comparing three different ways to prime your armies. White prime, zenithal highlighting, and probably the most popular method out there right now, the slap chop technique. I will be approaching this video from the mindset of an army painter, painting thousands of points or miniatures quickly, yet with a lot of pride and beauty. First, let's take a look at the most simple method of priming, just simply white priming everything. So you can do this either with an aerosol can or with an airbrush. And what you want to do is just put white primer all over the model. This will set up a very reliable canvas for contrast paints or army painter speed paints. And this only takes around 25 seconds per model. Next, I will cover Zenithal priming. Now, this is a very popular method as well, and it involves painting your entire model black with black primer and then after that switching to a white primer or white paint and then painting it from a 45 degree angle all the way around like this. This method takes a little bit more time but it's only 40 seconds per model and it creates a nice bright white upper with a lot of dark recesses and a darker lower. The third method is the very popular slap chop method. It was made popular by the Honest Wargamer and it's been in use for quite a bit. Now for this video, I re-watched his video multiple times just to make sure that I'm doing things consistently with how he prescribes it. I use this method fairly sparingly, I don't use it very much, so I had to make sure that I was up to speed. Following the video, I start by priming everything black. Like before, this kind of priming is fairly quick at around 25 seconds per model. And after that, I'm going to be dry brushing the model with a medium gray. I use Army Painter's Uniform Gray and then using a makeup brush, I apply some of the gray paint onto it and then I rub off as much of it as possible so there's only a dusting of it on my brush. I then apply it very liberally onto the model and this will catch on the upper raised surfaces of the model and leave the recesses dark. This first dry brush coat took me about 80 seconds. I next switched to a white paint, in this case matte white from Army Painter, and then I did the same thing with a smaller dry brush. Now I applied this a little bit more gently onto the very edges of the model to create a more distinct highlight. Now while I was doing this, I noticed that the model was a little bit dark, especially for wanting to apply contrast paints or army painters paint paints. So I applied a little bit more pressure on my brush to get slightly more white on the model. To properly slap chop this, I did take a lot more time than it would have just to zenithal prime or prime the miniature. Actually almost 10 times longer. Here is a quick comparison of the three priming methods before I start painting the models. The first paint that I used was Crusader Skin from Army Painter. Now this is a speed paint and it went on really well on the simple white prime model. I noticed that the colors were very vibrant right off the bat and there were a lot of deep recesses. Switching to the Zenithal highlighted model, I also applied the same speed paint. And even though it did lay down really well on the wider surfaces, it did appear somewhat black and dark in the recesses. When applying the same color onto the slap chop model, it did appear a lot darker. And this is because of the prevalent amount of gray that's on the model. Next, switch to holy white for the tunics. And this went on really well on the basic prime miniature. It seems like the speed paint really likes a white prime and it settles into the recesses and also onto the top surfaces very well. Likewise, for the zenithal highlighted model, there was enough white on the model for the paint to really shine. With a lot of gray on the slap chop model, I really struggled to make this color work. It just got very dark as I put it on. Switching to slaughter red for the trim pieces, this went on really well on the white prime model. The red was naturally bright and vibrant. While on the zenithal highlighted model, there was definitely a lot more shadow and it wasn't as vibrant. The slap chop method definitely yielded the darkest shade of red. Next was hardened leather and I put this on the scabbards as well as the shafts of the spears. And on the white prime model, the colors really popped and this brown settled into the recess as well. There was enough white on the zenithal highlighted model for it to also pop pretty well, but the shadows were darker. Hardened leather didn't go down too badly on the slap chop, but it did appear a lot darker like every other color that I put down before it. Broadsword Silver is one of the new metallic speed paints from Army Painter and this went on fairly uniformly on all three different priming methods. This is because this is a very dark silver and it was pretty agnostic to the type of primer that I put down. 
Generally, the darker the color, the less sensitive it is to how much white is available underneath it. Lastly, I put down the new Talos Bronze Metallic Speed Paint from Army Painter down on the models and this goes on the shields as well as any of the armored pieces on the model. And just like before, the brightest result was the one with white primer, followed by the zenithal highlight, and finally the slap chop which gave a much darker look. Now this speed paint metallic bronze was one that really benefited from slap chopping. It gave the bronze a little bit of a weathered tarnish look and depending on what you're going for, that might be an advantage. So let's take a look at our finished models. The first one is a basic white prime and you will notice that it's the brightest of all the three executions. You'll see that the colors are very vivid and it makes sense because contrast paints and army painter speed paints were made for a pure white primer. So if you prime it pure white, you will get a very bright appearance such as this with very defined lines. Moving on to Zenithal Prime. What I like about this and the reason why I use it quite a bit is it creates natural shadow. As you can see in the toga here, as well as on the shield, you can see that the shadows are a little bit deeper also on the helmet and on the skin. The last one is Slap Chop. It's darker compared to the other two methods. That's what I will say. And maybe I should have applied a little bit more white under certain areas, but I tried to get the two-tone effect of gray and white. But what happens is you get a more tarnished appearance. As you can see, this bronze actually has a pretty nice effect. It looks like it's tarnished bronze and there's just a lot of deeper shadow. The only thing that I didn't like with this is the skin tone. Because I had so much leftover black, this guy looks like he's spent too many days under the sun. And he, he's just really dark. Compared to this, you can see that there's a very stark difference between the skin tone. And I'm not a big fan of that. The uniform is also very dark. So if you want a grim, dark sort of look, instead of white, this is a nice brilliant white. This is, looks more like a gray. And really, if you want this to look a little bit more like this, you're going to have to come in and highlight this afterwards by, by putting a highlighting step. But a highlighting step really kind of throws you out in left field as far as getting models done quickly. Honestly, I, I tried to give Slap Chop my best effort, but I really honestly feel that it, it took a lot of time to Slap Chop prime this. And then after that, you end up with a much darker look, which you have to go back and highlight afterwards. And I, for me, trying to kick out large armies, this just really slows me down. The middle ground for me is Zenithal highlighting. This is the effect that I usually go for the most. To me, it's a toss up between Zenithal highlighting and straight white priming. Straight white priming ended up looking a lot better than I expected it to. I, I just thought it would end up being too bright, but it really did do the job very well. And the paints performed the way they're supposed to. So there you have it. All three models from the left, white prime, in the center, Zenithal prime, and on the right, Slap Chop. That concludes the comparison of the three different priming types. And I realized that at the end of the day, it comes down to personal preference. So use the method that suits you the most and still allows you to complete your armies. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.